<laughs> a shooting star and a pixie. Must be my birthday. Let Tinkerbell go! Ha! Huh, one of Peter Pan's brats. Well, tell that cowardly sparrow, if he wants his precious Tinkerbell back, he'd best meet me at Mermaid Lagoon. Stop! <laughs> Scram! Yeah! <laughs> 
Sophia! I lost them. You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Tinkerbell's been pixie napped. Then I'm too late. Hook's gonna pay for this. He said to meet him at Mermaid Lagoon. Gotta be an ambush. Huh, that old codfish thinks he's clever. Hey, I'm going too. Well, we have to hurry. Can you keep up? You bet.
cannon fire? Where's it coming from? On the water! Over there! Tink, it's you! And you're all right! What? A strange fellow with a funny-looking sword has... <laughs> Hold on! I gotta stop that cannon! Okay, I'll go after Hook. Right. Tink, if you would. What? It's pixie dust! Bet you feel lighter now, don't ya? Yeah! Ho! 
Alas, and so passeth a worthy opponent to think that his would be such an inglorious end. <laughs> At last, that scurvy brat will never trouble me again. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Hook. Swoggle me eyes! No, don't tell me! Oh, Jimmy! Blast that Peter Pan! Oh, that's all. No, not again! Stay away from me! I don't think so. Gotcha! Hasty coward! Heavy rock! Hasty coward! Rock! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh! 
Yeah! 
about. We snatched it right from Hook's hiding place. Huh? How come it's empty? Uh, sorry, but we lost it all the treasures. Oh, well. That's too bad. Aw, uh, who needs it? It was probably just full of dumb old jewels or doubloons or something anyways. We could just put what we treasure in there instead. If you wanna. That's perfect. Instead of filling it up with jewels and gold and stuff, we'll put in what's truly special to us, the real riches. What are you putting in, Ben? I don't know. Hmm. How about this? Hmm, what is it? It's just something that one of my best friends gave me. So it's like a keepsake, huh? You sure you want to part with something that's special? Yep. I don't need it if I've got Terra and Aqua. Our best memories are still ahead. 
All right, then. Next time you visit, we'll have an even bigger chest waiting. Enough for all those treasures and lots more. Okay, it's a deal. Oh, wait, Tink. I'm pretty sure that belongs to a friend of mine. Do you think maybe I could hang on to it? Now, Tink! Thank you. Don't worry, men. No matter where that light takes him, then he'll always have friends waiting to meet him. The king must be pretty far away by now. Ah. <laughs> nope, doesn't look like him. Oh. Uh huh? Look, that feller's got the star shard the king borrowed. King? Oh, you must be talking about Mickey. I saw him. What? <laughs> huh? Hey, take it easy. Let's go. Cool. Yen said, sir, we just got a clue as to where the king might be. Hmm? Ah, Ventus. Huh? Hericus has told me much about you. If I am not mistaken, you were ordered to return home. Well, sir, I... No matter. Huh? Mickey has difficulty following directions, too. Where is this clue to Mickey's whereabouts? I got it! This feller, Venquist, uh, Venolite, uh, uh, Veggie... Just had a Zed. Sure, that's what I usually go by. Zed had it when you got here. Please explain. I ran into Mickey, but we got sent flying into the light. I don't know where he went. Oh. <laughs> He wasn't in the same world as the one where I found that. As I thought, Mickey has been hurling himself from one world to the next. That explains why I could not discern his location. You can now, can you? Yes, I can. Hmm. a dark and powerful force that is interfering with my magic. Just tell us where the king is, Mr. Yen Sid, sir, and me and Donald will go right there and save him. You too? That may not be adequate. 
But I'm the captain of the King's Royal Knights! He will responsible! I'll find him. I recognize the place we saw. A few dog will come with you. No, I owe him. Mickey saved me once, and I can't risk putting his friends in danger. Don't worry. I swear I'll bring him back safe. Very well, Ventus. We will leave it to you. Again, boy. starting to realize what you lost. Oh, but not for good. You had to lose in order to find. Now it can all be yours again if you only reach out and take it. Reclaim the part that left you. Clash with him. Pure light against pure darkness to forge the ultimate key. The all-powerful Key Blade! Blades you and I carry. Key, the most ancient. Some say Kai, but the meaning is the same. Death, a letter that spells endings. And I have the power to make it. Correct. Ericus knows it too. He knows exactly what you are. The Master? Haven't you ever wondered why he never granted you permission to leave his side? To grow stronger? Ericus was frightened of you. If you were to learn the truth, realize what you are, he never trusted you. Why else would he keep you within his sight at all times? see other worlds, no matter how much I asked.
Ventus, you're alone? I thought Akko would... <sighs> well, what matters is that you're home. You don't belong outside this world yet. You need to stay here, where you can learn... In your prison? What? That's your excuse. For keeping me imprisoned here, isn't it? What did you hear? That I'm supposed to be some weapon. Some kind of keyblade! I knew it. Xehanort. He could never let it go. Wait, Xehanort! There is a reason the precepts bar us from such knowledge. Why do you seek the Keyblade? Would you blanket all the worlds in darkness? Reduce them to nothing? But darkness did cover the world once, in legend. We know so little about the Keyblade War. Only that it was just the beginning. Amidst that crisis, a precious light was found. It is a curious tale, and one worth exploring. They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? I must have these answers. The Keyblade needs to be forged. And with it, the door to the Keyblade War unlocked. Fool. You would risk an apocalypse out of sheer curiosity? I will never allow it. Not while I live. But once again, you have it all wrong, Heracles. Darkness is a beginning, you see. Not an end. At birth, every one of us emerges from darkness into a world of light. Do we not? Poetic excuses. If words won't dissuade you, only one thing will. Taken you, Xehanort! Not your concern. I failed. I had the chance to stop him and couldn't do it. But I will not fail again! Master, what do you... The Keyblade has no place in this or any world. Xehanort has made his purpose clear, and I am left with no choice. Forgive me, but you must exist no more! Ben! What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you, step aside! No! You will not heed your master? I won't! Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? If you don't have it in your heart to obey, then you will have to share Ventus's fate! In 
somewhere? <sighs> I'm through with you. Well, I'm just getting started with you. You're strong enough now to fulfill your purpose. So what are you waiting for? Join with me, right here and now. Become the Keyblade. No. I won't do it. He told me the only way the Keyblade can be forged is if you and me fight. Well, guess what? I'm not fighting. You used to be too broken to talk back. Because you're trying to hold it in. Let the dark impulses waken in the pit of your heart. Release them here and now. Sharpen your fear into rage. You must. If you do not let the storm within you run its course, it will wipe you from the face of the world. Make no mistake. Do it. Embrace the darkness. Produce for your master the key blade! Really? You would rather die than use the power? Feckless real fight. If I must. I will extract the darkness from within you myself. from Venter's Rhythm. To you, the name Vanitas shall be given. Yes, Master. Fine. Then I'll give you a reason to fight. What? Come and find me, at the one and only place to spawn the Keyblade, the Keyblade Graveyard. There, you're gonna see me choke the life out of Terra and Aqua. Then we'll see how long you play the pacifist. Wait! Thank you. 
friends forever. Yeah. <laughs> 